A clear path forward um, in, in aviation. Do you think one fuel will be, you know, more dominant than the other, or one option will be stronger than the other? Well, I think here's a personal opinion for you, Rob. I think that new aircraft, new aircraft, quickly move to hydrogen. We're going to see the Airbus A380, the world's biggest commercial jet, this double-decker <laughs> super jumbo. <laughs> We're going to see that flying. Uh, for a demonstration project on liquid hydrogen in 2024. And if we can put an Airbus A380 up into the air on liquid hydrogen, then I'm sure that that will trigger a um, new build uh, of large jets to be run on liquid hydrogen. However, we still have a very, very, very large stock of, let's say, traditional um, aeroplanes flying on on, on aviation kerosene and they're the ones that I think are going to be wanting to use biofuels and synthetic um, aviation fuels but I really do imagine that there'll be quite a shift a quick shift to to hydrogen fired um, aviation um, for new build and here's a bit of a wild card for you Rob ammonia liquid ammonia a very very high energy density um, low carbon energy vector if it's green ammonia we're also talking about putting liquid ammonia onto power turbines and power turbines and aviation turbines are very, very similar. And I've seen a Boeing and NASA joint project where they're looking to use liquid ammonia as an aviation fuel. So yes, liquid hydrogen is on board is one option. Liquid ammonia on board is one option, both going through gas turbines, of course. And um, you know, hydrogen onto fuel cell aviation on turboprop aircraft, also a high potential.